Have you ever seen this bumper sticker? That violin music you hear now, you can also see on a piece of paper and it looks like this. But to read it, as the bumper sticker suggests, you must be taught the alphabet, the syntax, the grammar, even the punctuation of a musical language, because that's what music is, a language. Hi, I'm Beth Blackerby, creator of violinlab.com, a website dedicated to adult violin learners. And our community of violin enthusiasts extends all around the globe. And one of the most common questions we hear right after, can you teach me vibrato, is how can I learn to read music? Well, after more than a year of work and producing more than 50 videos, we've developed a note reading and theory program we think can help anyone learn the universal language of music. And the program is of course dedicated to violin, though much of the general music theory would apply to any instrument. We begin with a brief history of why and how musical notation started almost a thousand years ago with no more than a single line and a few squiggles, and over the centuries developed into the five-line staff system we all recognize today. In our music reading program, we demonstrate exactly how all those symbols and characters relate to your fingerboard, and with simple, interesting graphics, show you the system and logic behind that relationship. the course there are fun quizzes to test your knowledge and measure your progress and train your ear and here's an example and in this quiz we're going to work on telling the difference between a whole step and a half step I could fit a pitch in between those two which tells me that this has to be a whole step and it's a whole step okay let's do another one Learning to read music opens up a world of music for you. So go to violinlab.com, click on the note reading tab, watch some free videos, get a sample of what we have. And if you like what you see, the sign up process is very simple. The price is very low and you can download all of the videos and then keep them in your own private library forever.